Hi, I'm Greg from The Laser Channel, and thanks for joining me in this video where I answer the age-old question that's still relevant today, and that is, what's the difference between the Xtool D1 and the D1 Pro? Stay tuned as I cover not only the differences between the machines, but the similarities between the two. Welcome back. Before I get started on the five similarities between the two machines, and most of all, the five differences between the two machines, I wanna give you kind of a background of why I'm making this video, because when I was doing the research for this video, uh, the D1 non-pro machine, this is no longer in production, and in fact, it's virtually impossible to find these new from any of the popular places, reputable places to purchase a non-pro machine. The market is now dominated by the D1 Pro of various wattages and color schemes that are available on the machine. So why is this still relevant? There's a lot of new people that are still coming to the laser market and Xtool is one of the top brands that is very high quality that produces, of course, a very nice machine. For new people, they're looking towards some of the groups to buy these secondhand, whether it's from Facebook marketplace groups or from eBay. So this is still a very relevant machine. And for others who may already own the non-pro version, it might be time for them to upgrade. So I'm going to be sharing my top five list of things that are similar and things that are different. The first item on similarities between the two machines is the framework. This framework is very solid and it's very robust. And I'm glad to see that Xtool brought the same framework from the non-pro to the pro version. Speaking of the framework, that brings me to the next item, and that is the rail system in which the laser module moves around. The non-pro version has this uh, round rod and steel guide wheels, and they've brought that over to the pro version. And this is a great aspect, and it's another one of the great things that make the D1 series very unique to the laser market. Software. When it comes to running the machine, both machines can run both the Xtool Creative Space or Lightburn software. These are two very popular software packages to use on the machine, and the user group is very large, so if you ever have a question on either the Xtool Creative Space or Lightburn, it's very easy to find a group on Facebook or just in general on the internet to find answers to your questions. Connecting to the machine. Both machines still retain a port on the side here for USB conductivity, and we can see the little black lever that hangs down in the front, that is a Wi-Fi antenna. So both machines are able to connect to a computer via USB port or Wi-Fi. Attachments. This is a generation one rotary attachment that I purchased when I originally got the D1 non-pro version, and this legacy attachment with the cable it came from is still fully compatible with the D1 pro version. You know, we covered a lot of great similarities. Uh, Xtool took all of the great things that made the Xtool D1 just really stand out in the market, and they brought all of that goodness over to the pro version. Now, they didn't quite bring everything over. There were some improvements and changes that they made. That the pin count is different between the two, so these laser modules are not swappable between the two series of machines. The cable harness. This is the next difference that I have noted, and that is on the D1 non-pro machine, I found that the harness that came with my machine, it was a little bit short, and it put a lot of strain on this harness going up to the laser module, and it's something even to this day, I still keep an eye on. On the pro version, it looks like they added about another inch, maybe an inch and a half onto the wiring harness, further adding to some of the strain relief going out to the various components. 
While they did add a little bit of length, I would have liked to have seen them add another full two to three inches, but they added about half that distance, so it definitely helps out on the Pro Machine. Let's talk about speed. With the D1 Pro being the current model, this machine is rated for full 400 millimeters per second, and that is really flying. And that's kind of one of the new industry standards for a laser diode machine on the market today. The non-pro machine is rated for about 166 millimeters per second. So that's still moving along, but it just really can't compare today's modern speeds. The D1 Pro is also going to offer a lot more laser module options. This is available in a 5 watt version, 10 watts, 20 watts, and including a powerful 40 watt laser module. You can even purchase an IR laser module that's really tuned up for doing metal work. The non-pro version, it was available stock in both a 5 and a 10 watt version. Later on, there was a standalone uh, kit of a 20 watt laser module that was offered. And again, that 20 watt laser module is unique to the non-pro version. You can't take a pro version 20 watt module and connect it up to the non-pro version. It just doesn't fit correctly. So far, all the differences that I've reviewed have put everything in favor of the pro machine. But the last one on the list is gonna favor the non-pro machine, and that is going to be the workspace area. This machine does have a slightly larger work area by about six to 15 millimeters, depending on what laser module is purchased with the pro version. And that's because as the laser module gets larger, it makes the work area smaller because this laser module, because it is larger, has less room to travel within the work area. These are just some of the similarities and differences between the two series of the X-Tool D1 machine. There's certainly a whole lot more differences. And once again, if you think that I skipped something really important, definitely leave that in the comments down below. I'd certainly appreciate that. And the other viewers of this video would certainly appreciate that as well. I love making video content like this for viewers like you. If you like this video, show it some love by giving it a like, consider subscribing to the channel or ringing that notification bell. Doing any number of those things really helps me out, but more so, it's a great way to connect content like this with other great viewers just like you. Until next time, learn, create, and share.